time today. What's more, those who have contributed the least to this climate change are the, the ones most affected. We want climate justice and we want it now. We need climate justice. I want to emphasize that this is not a trade negotiation. We cannot stop and delay just because, because we can't agree. We need to agree on this. It is a matter of life and death. For many, for the small island states, this is a matter of life and death. They are facing sea level rise, and we all have seen what has been going on on the corner of Africa this year. It's horrible. Money is needed. Last year, the conference of parties agreed that they would come up with 100 US billion dollars by the year 2020. We need to see that start happening. We can't, cannot wait until 2019 because money won't come on a blink of an eye overnight. We need to start it now. The UCF, or the Green Climate Fund, we want them to give up money, we want them to be established first and adopted, then we want them to give money in forms of grants, not loans. We need that because we need money for both adaptation and mitigation. We need money and we need it now. We want a 50-50 split and the money for adaptation is especially important to get in terms of grants. And also I want to stress the need for capacity building. We need to implement we need it to implement adaptation and mitigation strategies adopted here. The value of human capital and education is immense and can't be underestimated. There are good policies regarding capacity building in the current LTA text now. And we really want the US not to book it. We don't want anybody to book it, book it especially asking the US not to book it. Finally, I just want to stress the importance of historical responsibility and the low emissions per capita in developing countries. We cannot just look at total country emissions when judging responsibility for the climate change. Remember the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities.